Welcome to CAT tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering question 34 from 1.1 exercises in James Stewart calculus. So we're asked to find the domain of this function. So which values of t does the function exist, or where is this function defined? And we now have the square root, and once you have that, it already gives you a restriction. You can't have each of these portions of the function as a negative value. So you can substitute any other t value into this function, except the t values, which will lead to a negative because you can't find the square root of a negative, at least on the real axis. So we want to have both of these as positive answers. So they can be zero. So if you say the square root of zero, it's zero. So the values that these can take are zero or any positive number. So to enforce that into our domain, we're going to have three minus t greater or equal to zero, as well as two plus t greater or equal zero. And if you solve this one, we'll have three greater than t, which means t less equal three. And for this one, we'll have 2 greater equal minus t, or we can leave the t on this side and take the 2 to that side. So 2 greater equals minus 2. So these are two answers, but they have to be combined because this is one function. So where do they overlap? We can try to think of this on a number line. So minus 2 would be somewhere there, and 3 would be there. This one says that your t, so this is the t axis, by the way. This one says that your t is less equals 3. So we are moving from this point at 3 and it's shaded because there's an equal sign there. So it's included and we're going in this direction. But this one now says t greater equals minus 2. So we're starting at minus 2 and we're going this way. So we want both of these to be defined so that the whole function can be defined, which means that we only have to include the portion where both of them are defined. And that is where they overlap. So they overlap there and there. In any way between these two dotted lines, both of the functions are defined, which means that the whole function will be defined. So your final answer is now t is an element of minus 2 to 3 included and we're including or we have these square brackets because we have that e equality over there so as an example if we were to pick a t value which was to the left of minus 2 so let's say minus 3 let's try that and see what happens to our function so 3 then minus 3 then minus square root of 2 minus 3. Here we'll have the square root of 6 minus, then here 2 minus, here we'll have the square root of minus 1, which we do not want or which we can't find on the real axis. So this part is undefined, which means the whole function is not undefined. And the same applies if you try to pick a number which is to the right of 3. So let's say 4. If you pick a 4, this one will be negative because here you have square root of minus 1. And any other number to the right, any other number to the left of minus 2. So this function is only defined where both of them are defined. And when both of them are defined, it is also defined. So the domain or the t values which lead to this function or which allow the function to be defined are between minus 2 and 3. Included. Another way you could write this if you want to be minus 2 less equal t less equal 3, which basically means the same thing. 